Hey everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-month readings for all the zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus. Keep in mind, they are general readings, so take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared. I appreciate it so much, especially all those positive comments. I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to everyone, but uh, it's pretty busy around here. Uh, looking for artwork still? Send it to me with the uh, information in the box below. And let's get into this reading for Taurus. For mid-May. Well, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Pentacles in your element, Taurus, or Capricorn, or Virgo. And he is a messenger, messenger of tangible things. Could be money, or the things that are worth or have value to you. Now, granted, he is the slowest of all the Knights. But he makes sure that all his I's are dotted, all his T's are crossed, every stone is turned. He never has to go back to see if it was done right. He already knows. So let's see how that applies here, Taurus. Now, as a significator, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Now, some people might look at this as a miser card. But this guy's got all Four of Pentacles up close to his chest. Even looks like he's flipping somebody off. Like you're not going to get these. And to me, this is somebody who is guarding their feelings, guarding their heart. Not letting something get to it. So, what's crossing to help or hinder you, Taurus, is the Ace of Swords. This is brand new, brand new, Taurus. Brand new uh, communication. Brand new victory. An aha, an epiphany. Brand new truth. So it kind of says to me that um, you know, something wants to ring true with you, but maybe you're just you're too guarded to accept it yet. But we'll see how it plays out. In your foundation, got the Three of Cups. And this is rejoicing, celebrating, hanging out, having a couple drinks with a friend, barbecue, you day, me day, any day, hey, let's have a drink day. Hmm. How interesting. But what's crowning your whole reading here, Taurus, is the Nine of Swords. And this is the Agony card. This is having all these negative thoughts running through your head over and over and over again until it's like you're losing sleep over it. Taurus, turn one sword upside down into a positive. The rest will fall. Worrying is a negative energy. And where does it get you? Nowhere. Especially when things work out and all the worrying was for nothing. So get out of your head, Taurus. Get out of your head. Now, in your recent past, Taurus made your account of the magician. And he can make anything manifest that he desires. He's got all four elements in front of him. He brings things into form. Brings it to the here and now. As above, so below.
So Taurus, maybe you were hanging out with a bunch of friends. Bouncing off maybe an idea that you wanted to start. Because it's going around in your head. How are you going to make it come into form? And you need some input. You need some clarity. Some idea. In a love sense. Maybe something's happened where you're keeping yourself well guarded. Because you don't want to feel any hurt. Maybe you're mingling. Maybe you're starting to date. It's scary because maybe you haven't done this in a while. But you want a relationship. You want to manifest something, something good for yourself. Now, going into your future, Taurus, got the Ten of Swords. And this is feeling backstabbed, feeling betrayed. Tens are the end of the cycle. And you know what I always say about this card. I am done with you. Nine to a ten. Remember. It's the end of a cycle. It's an end to that. Keep that positive idea in your head. Now, how people see you in your environment. Oh, got the devil. Could mean a bunch of things. You could have great passion, great desire for whatever you want to pursue. It also could mean obsessions, addictions, feeling to a situation, feeling like you're bound and tied to it that it's never going to change and it's never going to end. Like you own it. Taurus, maybe this is why you got these negative thoughts. This could also mean an illusion. But people seeing you like this, well, you know I'm going to clarify that. Absolutely. Because in your environment, Taurus, it's you. The Hierophant. What I prefer to call as the Faith and hope card. It could be higher learning. Sometimes means marriage. You got both together. What a contradictory that is. Wow. So here we are, Taurus, that you're you're guarding yourself. You need something new. You need some sort of clarity. You need a a new way of communicating. A brand new victory. Feel like you have something conquered because look what we got. We got the nine. We get the ten. And then one. Brand new again. That's what I mean, Taurus, about the end of this negativity shit and going with something that's new and positive. Get rid of that illusion. Because that's all it is. Taurus, it's an illusion. Have faith, have hope. Now in your hopes and in your fears, Got the Four of Swords. And this is the retreat card. This is the stepping back. Reassess your situation, Taurus. Reevaluate. Re strategize.
Taurus, are you afraid of maybe waiting too long? That something's never going to happen? Or maybe you do have to take a second look at your situation and re-strategize and get a new idea about how you're going to approach it and how you're going to handle it. Because Taurus, your outcome card is a page of wands. Here comes another messenger. And wands being of the fire suit, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but more so, this is a action. A creativity type of endeavor, perhaps. But as the outcome card, I want to say that that is an action you need to take. So, let's find out why people are looking at you like you're the devil. Why is the devil here for Taurus? Why are people looking at... Nine of Swords came out again. Agony. Something just fell. Hold on. The walking away card. Hmm. A bunch of cards come out. Page of Wands again. That's twice. Taking an action. Hearing something that's going to bring action to you. Here's the Hierophant again. You, Taurus. Having faith and having hope. Ten of Pentacles. Having all the things that are valuable to you in money and being able to enjoy them. Again, this is the end of a cycle. You go, Taurus. Wheel of Fortune. Upright. Brand new things coming to you. Being on the upswing of the ebb flow. If you felt stuck, not going to be anymore. Things are going to turn, but they're going to turn in your favor. It's good fortune. But that's not the cards that I got that explained the devil. Six of Wands. Victory. Coming back from a battle. And being victorious. Overcoming something. Communication. Eight of Wands. Reciprocated communication back and forth. The Eight of Cups. Emotionally not being satisfied. Going on a new direction to find something that is more fulfilling to you. Taurus, I almost think that you've had some good fortune. You manifested something for yourself. And you did it coming out of this. You got that new opportunity. The universe handed you an opportunity to take that something crisp and clean, and clear, and true. And you've got all these good things coming to you. You had faith. You had hope. You turned things around for yourself. Perhaps brought yourself a little bit more contentment, a little bit more money coming out of this dark situation. And you walked away from something Maybe you had some communications that made you victorious, that made you excel. It made you manifest something for yourself and for you alone, Taurus. But people are looking at you like, how the f*** did you do that? You didn't deserve it. Whatever she or he is saying can't be true. Oh, 
really. We both know that's not the case, Taurus? Nope. Not at all. I'll do one more clarifier on the Ten of Swords. There's that retreat card again, Taurus. There it is. Reassess, re-strategize, reorganize. Ten of Swords here. Why is the Ten of Swords the Taurus? Okay, Ten of Swords, feeling shut out, feeling left out in the cold, shunned, perhaps by a fire suit, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who has these properties. Queen of Swords, the person who does not wear their heart on their sleeve means what they say, say what they mean, crystal clear, no emotions about it. Taurus, like I said, I am so done, card. Want to shut me out? Go right ahead. You said the truth. You said what you had to say. Don't matter if they look at you like this. Taurus, you got it going on. Whether they choose to believe it or not. You know your truth. Strategy. Perfect planning. And whatever you got going on now, Taurus, whatever you have in the mix, all it takes is an action now to bring it forward. It don't matter if they see you like this or not. It really don't, Taurus. You know the truth. Truth outrides this. And boy, I thought all the others going to be shocked when they find out they were wrong about you. <laughs> so that is what I have for you, Taurus. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.